this is gonna sound crazy, but somehow the past is tied to all this. I believe if we're successful, we're going to save all the people we love. I love you. There you go. That was the trailer for La Brea premiering on January 9th on NBC. It's your boy Kuyi P. This is Nerds Rule the World. And as you see on the screen, I'm so excited. I have some of the stars. I got Lily. I got Josh. I got Rohan. Thank you so much for your time, guys. It's been a journey. It's wild. And I'm getting wild because I'm pumped. I can't wait for the people to see this. I've enjoyed uh, a bit of the first couple of episodes. Um, as we say goodbye, the final journey. Uh, how has this journey been? Uh, if I can start with you, Lily, uh, this journey uh, as your character and your journey as an actor. You know, being in the role, you know, what what have you learned, you know, playing in La Brea? Well, I think I've been so lucky with my character because she has gone, I think every character goes on a crazy wild journey of growth and challenges and all of this stuff. But um, La Brea season three sort of is the peak. Uh, everything comes to a head. My character has grown so much from dropping down in the sinkhole with all of this darkness and all of this trauma to now finding love and being pregnant, having a child, making a home, making it safe, deciding to um, take more, take on more responsibility. And I think as an actor, that's just been really, truly a blessing to to play because um, there's so many sides to everything. There's always this darkness that follows, but you also have to look to the future and say, how am I going to survive here? How am I going to let myself discover new things about myself and about this world and sort of just fit in? I dig it. And I feel that as an actor myself as well. Josh, ah! talk talk to me about uh, your journey in this role uh, and your life uh, in, in, as an actor, you know, portraying this role. Josh. Yeah, I mean, it, it's as Lily said, it's been such a cr crazy journey. I know, as an actor, like this is like this kind of shows a, a gift. It reminds you why you got into acting in the first place. As like a kid, you know, you can get caught up in a lot of like the more nuanced and and serious stuff, and we love that. But La Brea allows, you know, it gives you that undercurrent of of character arcs, relationships, all that kind of stuff. But it provides you with this world that's like a theme park. And, you know, you're reacting, you know, like, oh, there's a, and now there's a dinosaur over there and now there's a velociraptor and now there's a pterodactyl kind of swooping down on you and like, oh, my God, that guy's going to kill you. And that, that, you know, now you've got a baby on the way and, you know, and now there's a bushfire. It's just like, <laughs> it's insane. And, and you have to really just dive in and completely immerse yourself. That's my favorite type of acting. That's my favorite kind of anything, you know, like video games, all that kind of stuff. The more immersive, the better. So for me, this has been the epitome of that for my career so far of just being able to get stuck in exist in these crazy worlds work with these incredible actors who buy into it as much as you do and and we get to access our little inner child um so yeah it's been a real joy and the character lucas has followed that journey in a weird way as well where he started off rigid and serious and aggressive and he's slowly learning to like access those more playful parts of himself so it's been there's been a beautiful mirroring going on 
I love it. I love it for all y'all. Rohan, same question, my man. Just this journey in this role and yourself as an actor as well. Totally. It's been great. It's been absolutely phenomenal. The world building that we got to play with right from the get-go has just been uh, incredible. The sets, I remember walking on set the first day uh, in 2021, the clearing, how just big and expansive it was. I've never seen that many flipped over cars as as part of our environment. You know, we were able to run up them and 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 interact with all of that space and, and we we got to play as much as we could. The whole journey has just been rewarding. I've learned so much as an actor. Um, I've I've channeled Scott's journey from insecure, alone, dependent on smoking, to this strong-willed, responsible, mature, uh, someone who feels connected and seen and 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 part of a community. And that's also how my journey has been as an actor throughout this whole process, getting to know all of the actors and 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 being able to play and and discover and and learn together and uh what i've noticed about filmmaking is that it's essentially community problem solving you know things can happen on the day that weren't originally scheduled or planned and how do we work together as a group to to navigate that you know in the middle of a day someone might get sick or have an injury which certainly happened and the way that we kind of pull together and and navigate around that is a real testament to to all of us as as artists I love it. Well, thank you again for sharing, guys. It's been amazing watching you guys. And I can't wait to see what y'all going to do next. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Brad. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Hello. I'll also be recording on my end. I'll have about 10 minutes. Awesome. Very Thank you. cool background. I appreciate it. Yeah. Brett, you can, you can go first, Brett. Thank you, guys. All right, y'all. I'm going to take y'all through real quick. I'm going to count us in in a, in a second. Here we go. In a one, two, three.